Hey, Dan, Natalie, guys, just saying hey to you. Uh, man, I love you both so, so much. Um, and I'm just so excited about who you guys both are as individuals. Um, obviously, Natalie, love you so much. Dan, you are so, so, so cool. And um, man, just really blessed to have you and uh, in my life, man, um, and just continuing to grow that special connection with you. Um, man, I just am so full of joy for the lives that you guys have, and it just means so much to me um, to see just what God's doing and how great and perfect you are, and then the prayers are just so good with both of you guys. Um, <clears throat> and to see all the work in action is just absolutely amazing. Um, man, I am just beyond, beyond full, you know, uh, the cup is just pouring over for sure with, with excitement and, uh, man, I just, I bless you guys. You know, I do. I pray a blessing over you guys. Um, God, that you just are all about Dan and Natalie and their lives, um, that you provide for them as individuals and, um, you provide them with blessings that, man, I don't even know what <coughs> what they need as individuals, but you do. Um, and so I pray that you just shower and and rain it down on them. Um, and that you just, man, you draw them so close to you. And that you just have them in your heart, Lord. And that you are just abundant of, of them um, in their lives. God is what I kind of put up. So Holy Spirit, thank you for my cousin Natalie, um, my brother Dan, the friendship, the goodness, the love, the heart they have, the gifts they have, that you magnify them, you bless them, you rock it with them, and I love you guys. I just, I thank you so much, man. My heart is huge. You make this guy smile. Love ya. Hi, Natalie. It's your favorite sister, Amy. And I just wanted to make this video to tell you how much I love you and how much Dan loves you. He asked me to make this video for you, which I think is really sweet. And honestly, I'm just really proud of you guys. I'm excited for you. And I think it's really obvious that the Lord's in your relationship. And I'm just excited to see where the future takes you. And when I think of your love story, the words of our dear lifelong childhood friend, Celine Dion, come to mind. And I think you might remember them well because you used to throw paper plates to the beat of her 1997 hit single when she said that love can touch us one time and last for a lifetime. And that is the love that you and Dan share. It is a lifetime love. And I'm just really excited to see what the future has for you guys. And hopefully it will lead you to an altar very soon where you say your vows to one another. And maybe in the near future after that, it will lead you to a hospital where you can have lots of babies and make me Auntie Amy. Please Lord, lots of babies. But on a real note, I love you guys, and I'm really excited for you, I'm proud of you, I'm praying for you, and I hope I get to see you really soon. Okay. Love you, God bless you, sweet dreams, good night. Bye. Hey guys. Dan, I just wanted to let you know, Natalie's a very special woman. And with that said, after the couple times I met you, you're a very special man. So I'm really glad you guys found each other. I wish the best for you. Congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful, long, and happy life together. Love you both. Oh, and Dan, can you tell Eddie to tell Ben hi for me? All right, bye guys. Hey, what's up, Natalie? It's Tyler here from FGL. I hope you're doing awesome. Thank you for being such an awesome fan. Uh, your, your boyfriend, Daniel, speaks so highly of you. He's told me a little bit about y'all's story. And man, he just loves you so much. He says you're an awesome uh, pianist and violinist, and uh, I just want to encourage you to keep doing that, keep rocking. You sound incredible. Just want to wish you guys uh, many, many blessings on y'all's journey as a couple. Um, sounds like you guys are both awesome, and uh, just thank you for being who you are. And uh, yeah, I want to wish you guys the best of luck, and also want to tell you one quick thing that peanuts do belong on ice cream. Anyways, take care. God bless. Hi Natalie, you're a big role model in my life. You're a great cousin, you're friendly, you're kind, you're nice, and overall, you're just amazing to hang out with. Love you. Hi Natalie, I enjoy spending time with you and all the talks we've had. Love you. Hi Natalie, you're a beautiful young woman. Your tenacity, your faith, 
just your relationship with God is such a great example to this generation and to our family. I appreciate you and just all that you do for us and my family. And I appreciate just your uh, consistency in your relationship with God. Love you. Hi, Natalie. You're so full of the life and love of God. Uh, we just appreciate you so much and we feel that toward our family, toward every time we're together. Uh, we're so excited about what God is doing in your life and your in your ministry and your business and your relationship with Dan. We love, we love you. you! Hey! I uh, just thought it would be super special to send you a note from uh, the nice office seat where I so often send you Marco Polos and just really wanted to say how much I love you, how proud I am of you, um, and how much of an honor and a blessing it has been to just watch God unfold so many things in your life over this past year. I just really do some major heart work in you and uh, to set you upon the path that he has for you. So, so proud of you for stepping into the things that he's calling you into and just want to encourage you to continue to grow your relationship with Jesus and abide in him and in his his word and his love that you would just let that flourish and overflow from you um, that you would be filled by him so that you can love others as he loves them um, and just be the absolute best version of yourself filled with the Lord um, in all of the ways but I just it's been so amazing to watch things unfold and just the glorious things that God has been doing um, in this season of life for you and so love you so much this is so so well deserved um, God loves you so much and I'm so excited to see everything that he has for you I hope to see you soon I love you so much hey Natalie I um, just want to say that we think that you're one of the nicest people we've ever met and getting to lead worship with you uh, regularly at the church has been just such a joy for me as a worship leader love your heart for god for the church and we just believe the best is yet to come for you and natalie two words that stand out to me when i think of you are beautiful and genuine you're a person who is truly beautiful inside and out and your inner beauty just shines out of you and i think people are attracted to that and you are the, one of the most genuine women that I've ever met, just purely desiring to seek after God. So thanks for the way you love us and our meadow girl and the friend that you are. Love ya. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> Dad here. You can see where we're at and you know who's, you know who's filming me, Mr. Daniel. And we just spent a glorious morning together with our glorious savior and uh, just had a wonderful time talking together all about your life, his life, the life that matters in Christ. And we've laughed, we've cried, and we've just celebrated who you are and the plans God has for you. And I'm so excited, uh, so excited and so on board with what God has for you together and the plans that he's got for you for his glory that others would come to know him too or and uh so anyway i told daniel hit play because i want to i want to talk right here right now and uh i i trust in what he's doing i'm so proud of you so proud of you and uh everything has led to this next season in your life. I'm proud of this young man that's filming me and I'm looking at. I'm proud of everything uh, God has done in him. And uh, I love you both. I love what God's doing to put you together. And I trust him and I'm excited and I just want to, uh, I want to tell you that it's okay if you hate nuts on ice cream and, <laughs> and every other thing. <laughs> that uh, people will question you on, you stay strong. <laughs> but you do all the things God said to do in a relationship and you'll never regret. Uh, watching you grow up has been the crown jewel of, of being a father and just, I believe in you and I believe that God has great plans for you and for you and Daniel as one together. So. 
I love you, bless you, I'll show who you both, and press on to all that he's called you to with great joy and the hope that's in him alone. I love you. Hey, Natalie and Daniel. This is a special moment for me as your mom, and I just have a few words of encouragement to give both of you. The Lord gave me a scripture for you this morning. You as a couple, Natalie, Joy, Farley, and Daniel, Timothy, Reed. And the verse is found in Psalm 27, verse 6. I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. That's what both of you do. That's God's calling on your life and both of you as a couple. And we just encourage you today and we rejoice with you. I also just want to share real quick uh, the scripture, Natalie Joy, that the Lord gave me when you were a newborn baby, Luke 1, 76 through 80. And what's interesting is you were just a couple weeks old and I prayed and asked God to give me a scripture for you. And uh, about a month or two later, Uncle Jimmy wrote a letter where the Lord gave him the exact same scripture. So here we go, Luke 1, 76 through 80. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the path of peace, and the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until he appeared publicly in Israel. We couldn't be prouder of both of you and what the Lord is doing in your lives together as a couple. And uh, may we all just rejoice at this wonderful season. And uh, we just praise the Lord as your parents for everything that God has done. And we love you dearly. One more scripture. Proverbs 15, 23, a person finds joy in giving an apt reply, and how good is a timely word. Natalie, that's you. Timely words every single day to your family members, people in your chair, people in your life group and church, and your friends. And we just love both you and Daniel so very much and so proud of both of you. Love you dearly. Hey, Natalie, it's Lady A. And Daniel um, wanted us to send you this message. We hear that you are an incredible musician, that you play piano and violin, and that you and Daniel met each other, and a relationship started blooming in a really cool and beautiful way all around music, which means so much to us. We also heard that your faith is so important to the both of you, and we just wanna say hi, and that Daniel loves you so very much. <laughs> And we're gonna sing you a song. So baby, hold on tight and don't let go. Hold on to the love we're making. Cause baby, when the ground starts shaking, you gotta know when you got a good thing. Hi Natalie, this is Grandma. Natalie, I have on my love shirt today because I'm sending you love and hugs. I want you to know how proud I am of you, how happy I am uh, that you truly let the Lord lead you. I'm very thankful to have a granddaughter like you, uh, one who honors the word, cherishes the word, and uh, the one who truly wants uh, God's will in your life. You're a great girl a hard worker, and just an all-around American girl. I love you, honey, and I'm going to end this with the Arianic blessing that we've heard Chuck Smith say and Amir Safadi. Number 6, 23 to 27. May the Lord, may the Lord bless and keep you. May his grace shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, and give you peace, and give you peace. This is the way you shall be blessed from day to day.
he will be your rest. Bye-bye, honey. See you soon. Hi, Natalie. Uh, I just want to say I love you, and I've just been so excited to see you grow in the Lord this last season, and, you know, just keep trusting the Lord. We love you so much. Hi, Natalie. Um, you know how I feel about you, girl. I love you so much, and I'm just so happy for you and Dan and, and this journey that you guys are on together. I know it's blessed by the Lord, and just your allegiance to Christ and all of this and how you never compromised and he brought along such a godly man for you and I just love you and I'm excited for both of you. Hey Natalie, thanks for being just an amazing sister in Christ and friend. I'm so blessed by you. So I know Dan will be blessed by you as well. And I just love seeing how God provided for you and bringing Dan along. And so, so excited to welcome him into our friend group. Yeah. And also just I'll be praying for you guys and just this next season of life together. And um, also, thanks for being the best roommate ever. So, Dan, you're getting the keeper. Love Aww. guys. <laughs> Love you. Hey, Natalie, it's Ben. Just tuning in to show you the beautiful landscape of the Blue Ridge Mountains here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, something interesting about the state of Virginia is that it is the state of lovers, which is something I'm sure you're familiar with recently. Um, just wanted to tell you how much you mean to me and I sure love you and I'm excited for what's going on in your and Dan's lives and um, yeah, I've just been praying for you guys and wanted to uh, log in to tell you I love you. Hey Natalie, it's Mike Donahue. I want you to know that Daniel loves you so. Yes, Daniel loves you so It's why he wrote a song about singleness But now you're together And he's full of happiness He was once single, now he's happy And he asked me to tell you how much he loves you He loves you excited to see what God is going to do in this next chapter of your life and it's just been awesome to see how he's been working through your life in the past and we just love you so much and uh, yeah excited hey Natalie I hope you're enjoying a beautiful sunset and that the Lord is giving you crazy colors in the sky um, I am just so excited for what the Lord is doing in your life um, I'm super excited about what God is doing in Dan's life and the fact that you guys are being um, knitted together to create one. It's just, it's amazing. And so I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and how much I miss you and that I am just praying for favor for the Lord that um, and that, that the Lord would show you guys the calling that he has for both of you guys. Um, words can't express how much I love you and I'm super excited about the calling that he's put on both of your guys' hearts. I love you and I miss you so much. Natalie, this is your uncle and aunt, the, the youngest uncle and aunt you'll ever have. Um, here to uh, send a first take we're only going to do it in one take uh video raw footage encouragement and love uh for you um to remove all doubt i mean you are loved and uh um it's been five years uh since you lived up here in sacramento while you were studying cosmetology and practicing um hair and and makeup on me your uncle um let that sink in. Um, we miss you. Uh, you're still a part of our 
our family and our, our regular um, daily thoughts. And uh, so we just wanted to drop a note, tell you that we love you. Um, I know Bianca's got stuff to say, and then I'm going to read a scripture, but yeah. <laughs> oh, we were asked to send just a little tidbit of encouragement to you. And as I was reflecting upon what I wanted to say, I, I was thinking about um, an example I could give you of the way that I've seen Jesus shine through in you. And I think that the number one thing that came to mind was that you are magnificent at meeting people where they are at, whether it's your hair clients and or your, your piano students and connecting in that way, or whether it's like living in community with your family or your friends, you're good at meeting people right where they're at, not judging them, taking things to prayer. And that is so like Jesus himself. He meets us right where we're at. He spends time alone with the Father, reflecting, and um, and that's something that I think you live in your daily life. And so, be encouraged by that; that it shines through. And uh, I've got a scripture I'm going to read to you. Um, it's Leviticus one, verse fifteen: You are to offer a dove or a young pigeon. The priest shall bring it to the altar, wring off the head, and burn it on the altar. Um, just kidding, it doesn't remind me of you at all. I just, <laughs> Leviticus brings me some joy uh, from time to time um, and wanted to share a smile with you. Um, but the fruit of the Spirit does remind me of you. Um, I think you envelop those very well for such a, a young age. Um, you're a, a very mature Christian living out your walk before others and um, love the, the love and gentleness and thoughtfulness that you bring to your daily life, to your friends and family. We love you and uh, we can't wait to see you soon. So love you. We'll see you around. All right. Bye. Natalie, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you what a truly a blessing and a privilege it was to have you as a best friend growing up. You've always been such a good, um, kind, wise influence on my life, um, especially back then in the young and stupid days. And I am, um, even though we don't live near each other anymore, we don't get to see each other regularly. Uh, it's just been so much fun. And I'm so proud of you as just watching your life unfold. And I'm, I gotta say, I am so excited um, about Daniel and getting to meet him. He sounds like a wonderful person. And um, Matthew and I both look forward to meeting him in person soon. And um, I just pray God's blessing on uh, whatever he has next for you guys. And um, we love you very much. Hey, what's up, Natalie? Corey Asbury here. Uh, your boy Daniel tells me y'all got a pretty crazy story. Um, <laughs> that is nuts. Uh, he wrote the song. You ended up playing violin on it. Holy smokes. I mean, that's, that is a fortuitous occasion, a uh, fortuitous day for Brother Daniel. Um, so I just wanted to come and say hi. Um, you know, this is cool that I get to be a tiny bit apart um, of what you guys are doing and what the Lord is doing in you. That's pretty incredible. Um, Daniel loves you a lot, like a lot, lot. I can tell um, just by the little message he sent over to me. And uh, I think you guys are going to have an incredible future and the Lord's going to be right in the middle of it. And there's going to be tons of joy um, and love and laughter. And it's just going to be incredible. And uh, keep rocking the violin, keep loving Jesus. And lastly, um, ice skating is not a real sport. I'd had to throw that in there. Don't be mad at me. All right. All right, Natalie. All right, Daniel. See y'all. Well, God made, made Adam, Adam and, and God, God made Eve. Eve. And God made Dan and Natalie. He had him in his heart in heaven above. And he put him on this earth to walk in his love. Oh, together forever in love. Together forever in love. Yay, yay. Together forever in his love. Woo!